NASA said, listen, could you guys help us identify blueberries on Mars? So blueberries on Mars, they're not berry, and they're freaking not even blue. So they're these hematite spheres, so they're high in iron, they're kind of grayish in color, maybe a little reddish, and NASA thinks that there's a good chance that they formed an aqueous chemistry. So there may have been water that was sitting or flowing in these places at one point. So it's a good place for us to look for signs of life on Mars. I don't mean like little green men, but I don't think it would hurt if the model could recognize those two, just in case, right? We don't wanna be looking for bacteria and some guys looking in the camera and we missed that one, I'm just saying. All the training data that NASA had for this already was none because it's freaking Mars. So there's no training data whatsoever. So they said, look, can you generate training data for us so that we train a model and then run it on a rover on Mars. So we say, look, go two clicks over here. We want you at the edge of this crater. We don't want to have to teleop the thing. You go and just tell us if on the way you found something we deem could be a potential sign of life. 